Ooh, what a lovely dark game. It's Johnny Natrium. And as you can see, it's Thief Deadly Shadows, which is the third game in the series. I got a um, last night from my fence. Harpus yep. Perry. A nobleman named Lord Julian had some sort of quarrel. <laughs> Lord he Julian. Up at a local inn well after nightfall and in a foul oh. mood. He's carrying a up to foul bag, business. About the size of a man's fist, and it never leaves his sight. A man's Sounds fist, then it never leaves his ass. I'll know for sure when I steal it from him. Perry Ouch. sent over a floor plan of the place, the Blue Heron Inn. Finding his lordship won't be hard. His room number will be in the guest register. Finding that he won't if be hard. To the front desk to read it. The inn will have guards, but not as many. Why you'd have to be a retard if you can't get to the front desk easy, of the. Which is one of the reasons inn. I'm willing to try it without knowing for sure what the take will be. Oh, I like that. Lord try everything is once. So protective of that bag. But you... got to be something of value in it. Well, it's his legacy, of course. It needs to reproduce. The Lord, after all. And I'm not going to take on a whole lot of fluff uh, for this, because I kind of just want to get through it. I uh, am a thief fan, obviously. And uh, I don't know if I'll be playing everything on expert here, because it might just be a bit much to uh, to find like all the fucking loot in every mission. It's just, like hidden everywhere for this one uh is like training mission i guess you can't even change the uh difficulty anyway uh but we'll see how we get along later i don't want to on the last day there will be no words and we will know the face of our betrayal here we are Eagle. Mm hmm Take your own path. Well, <laughs> you know, take your own path, but, you know, follow the footsteps. I know, it's just for this intro bit. All right. Oh, this is all fucking tutorial shit we don't need right now. <laughs> is that like, uh... It's like a cruising spot. He's like, <coughs> I, I see you. Um, it's like the... <coughs> exactly. Like, he just uh, did like the gay code for like, you know, you make that noise or you hum that tune, which means that uh, he wants me to come over and have a go with him. And after my... Uh, obvious lack of interest he just goes should have been a soldier because apparently they get a lot of action uh, the Roman soldiers I guess used to do that they when they were over in uh, the Netherlands and stuff like that they'd have a go Hello with the uh, a soldier. Oh, that's some real <laughs> fuck you should go talk to the other guy over there, because he feels the same way. A guy like me, ah, This could be like a musical. Like, after that he breaks into song about, you know, this world has no place for a man of my sexual preference. And how he wishes things were different. Uh, oh, like so, yes. Right click on highlighted objects. It's like use them. Success! Alright. Oh, it's not bound to 4 anymore. The water arrow. In the first two games, it's bound to 4. So, uh, yeah, I, I still. I mean, it's probably that's probably the reason that I'm doing this one now is because, well, I'm not sure. Maybe because I still want to do the first two thief games properly, but I kind of want to do that with someone else along for the ride. I'd already started out on the first one a while ago. I'll finish that up at some point, but now it's just kind of spur of, 
the moment that are playing this one and this one I'm not quite as experienced in as uh, as the first two so hence yeah not as familiar with all the <coughs> where's my lockpick hang on do I just all oh, right there you go this is just yeah it like shakes and then you can click at the point where it shakes the most, so to speak. But look, this uh, fucking... This is like the first fucking game with dynamic lighting. Like proper shadow casting. It's from like 2003, I'm pretty sure. Which, you know, uh, I guess is a, is a cool thing uh, for uh, stealth games especially. Okay, ooh, this fat bastard. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like he was waiting for that. Like he. This is the only way I can finish. Do it. Do it now. Uh. Anyway, let's toss him down here. Won't this kill him? Ooh, good. Thank God he's got a cushion. Of sorts. Right, we're at the front desk, so we made it there. Uh, Lord Julian. Julian. Peony sweet. Oh, fuck, is he a brony? I want the peony sweet. Hang on, is it some. McDougal. Dame Yola and Companion. Master Vorig in a pre I'd, There must be some fucking. I'm sure there's. Uh, there's some uh, Easter eggs in here, although I'm not recognizing anything from previ previous Julian. these uh, games. Wouldn't do to have anyone think he was just Julian. <laughs> Which to me, he always was. Always so vain, Julian, but. Holy fuck, did I step on a cat? Or oh, it was just me being catty. Oh, wouldn't do to have anyone think he's just Julian. Rawr. Sarcat some. Right, well, you don't really have to keep a bloody eye out for that. It's fucking pointing towards it. I, I think it's a trap. Urgh. What the fuck? This looks like a, like an uncomfortable, like, oh god, he's, I think he died here and he just got upset when I, his ghost is there, he got upset when I call him uncomfortable looking. Press up against the wall, uh, by using R. I fucking never use that, but there you go. I mean, it kind of, uh, reduces visibility slightly, I mean, your like the people being able to see you um and of course shadows are the most important i think the dynamic lighting you know the dynamic shadow casting may actually i mean i would hope that it also uh, affects you know the visibility you know so that like not every shadow where you're not uh able to be seen is like pre-programmed uh but like for instance if you open a door and it casts a shadow then you could use that shadow as well i'm not sure about that though that'd be some good for oh he just wants someone to try for him he's tired of always being the hunter again again but the first time it was in my head just goes pew pew. Oh. Can only be dropped or thrown. What? That's what you do with a candle? Right. Right click drops it and left click. Oh, see. Right. Another weird mechanic that this game has, which Thief 1 and 2 didn't have. If there's like this ding, this glint, then uh, you know it's lootable. Oh, Lord Julian isn't here. 
Neither is his bag. Yeah. So we're gonna like take a look at this, my friend and honored Lord Julian. I want oh is the cook. I will meet you in the Lancaster room tonight. I trust you will be mindful of the risks involved, like AIDS, and be generous. Gen generous. His lordship has gone for a walk. Maurice he the cook. Far. <laughs> Not with this fat ass. Oh. Not if I know what he was up to in his walk about. Be tired after. What's this? Oh, it actually says. What does Lancaster mean? Hang on. I'm gonna be like a dweeb. Right. What does Lancaster mean? Fuck off. What does Lancaster mean? Lancaster. A city in northwest England, the county town of Lancashire, on the estuary of River Loon. Population 45,500. And there's a duchy of Lancaster. House of Lancaster. Aha! The English royal house descended from John of Gaunt, Duke of Lancaster, that ruled England from 1399 until 1461. And again later, blah, 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 the Red Rose is its emblem. It fought the War of the Roses with the House of York. I should probably have known that. I mean, it sounded familiar. That's probably all it is. <gasps> He's here, sitting near the... Oh, I just got a chill from that fucking soundtrack. His purse is right next to him. Um, we've got the purse, proceed into the kitchen, stick the shadows, obvious fucking Lee. Use tools if you need to. Right, yeah, depending on what weapon you've got equipped as well, you're more or less visible. This blackjack guy. Pick. Uh, nobody f fucking knows what pick means. Unless you're Dutch. Yeah. Can I save? I know that's really fucking... Dweeby. I, uh, nah, there was no need for that. Oh wait, I can... Well, you're a cock. You're a cock, you're a cock. Oh shit. And no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening. And then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty. And my Twelve cousin. angry men. My lord, listen. There is a passage leading into the castle from the courtyard. I can open it for you when you give me the signal. Lol. The torch in the lion's head sky. You must Jeez. put it out. The lion's Ooh. head torch. Yes. And when I reach the vault... They are talking about a sign. Sinople, I will take my place as head of the family. The Lady Elizabeth will... Oh... Be the noble family is always feuding. Time to return. Only the medallion is the only key, my lord. Didn't you I just must steal that? Keep hold of it. You forget Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it. Really? My lord, I wish only for peace in the household. Really? The opal is mine. I won that bet, Morris. I won it. And that's all it is about? Well, I guess in later years people would fucking bet over actual slaves and their lives and shit. Hey, cool, they have the same voice actor. <gasps> you can always fight it if it comes to that, but usually it's every time. Try tossing a flash bomb. Use F1 to select it and I to fucking throw it. How annoying is that? It's all the way over to the other side of the keyboard. Um, right. What? What's all oh, my God, oh, fuck, I used the wrong key to get back up. Oh my goodness. Lolo. Close one. But I've still got the goods. Shit. <laughs> okay. 
Nothing like mixing in society, especially if it comes with good loot. The velvet bag turned out to hold a bronze medallion stamped with a uh -huh. griffin. Valuable enough, but more interesting was the conversation I overheard between Lord Julian and the cook. Mm. Especially the part about a huge opal and a conspiracy for stealing it. I'd hate to have anyone but me get a stone like that. But I need a better idea where to start looking. Opals are friends, a thief's sure best know. friend. Heartless Perry always does. Heartless Perry always does. Right. Right. But I think that uh, Julian was talking about fucking using the medallion to get in, to get the opal anyway. And then there was another one owned by another guy who probably lived there. And yeah, uh, the cook was saying, you know, the sign is you have to fucking put out the scones, the lines at scones, and then he'd open the door for me. So we'll fucking go there next. And that's the first proper mission, I guess. Now I'm sort of trying to close this off before I click continue because um, uh, fucking uh, the game crashes if I'm recording whilst it changes to uh, a mission. I'm not even sure if it's going to change now, but I'm not willing to risk it. So I'll pause the recording. I'll be right back. <laughs> 